bring in former IRS Commissioner and Vice Chairman of Alliant Group, Mark Everson. Mark, uh, what do you make of all these homeowners that are scrambling to try and prepay their property taxes and that last minute notice by the IRS that it may not even be valid? Well, thanks for having me, uh, Cheryl. Taxes assessed, what the IRS is saying is if you have a tax that has been assessed, I, I live in Mississippi, I got a postcard that says what my property taxes are. I get the postcard at the beginning of December. It's not due till February. Every year I pay it in December to get that benefit. That's fine is what the IRS is saying. But if normally they don't bill you until January of next February, they're saying that's a no-go. That's what's being said here. Hey, Mark, Mike Block here. So the tax bill's passed. It's done. Now we're scram Now there's a lot of scrambling to figure out what's what, like this uh, property tax issue we're talking about. If this bill could have been made better, if they could have spent more time on it and made it better, what is it missing? What, what else would you include as the former <laughs> IRS commissioner, a guy, a guy who knows uh, taxes? Oh, I think that remains to be seen, Michael. Uh, this is comprehensive reform. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Lots of changes. And there's so much in here, I would tell you, that, it, that we're going to have to wait and see. And remember, there's going to be interactions. Some of the states are talking about changing their codes, and we're already seeing some of the countries oversee so, uh, making changes. So I think what we have to do here is buckle up, understand it's going to be uh, a very iterative process here. And my, my hope is, unlike the Affordable Care Act, which we all remember, same thing, went through with just one party going for it, and then what happened was there were never any changes made here. That is not the playbook we have to follow here. We have to see how it affects the economy, and we have to make changes both technical in nature and also substantive as time unfolds. Amy Holmes here. Uh, I wanted to ask you, what do you make of Governor Cuomo saying that he might uh, sue over disparate impact by this tax reform on blue states where they'll no longer, the citizens will no longer be able to take those deductions from state and local tax? Do you think that there is a court case to be made here? Amy, I'd be very surprised. I mean, look, the Supreme Court upheld the Affordable Care Act because of its tax clause. I think there's wide deference to the Congress here. You mentioned um, a moment ago about overseas, you know, countries overseas changing things. There, there is news that, that China is offering new tax incentives to foreign investors, think American companies. So they basically say this will temporarily exempt foreign companies from paying tax on earnings, but you have to reinvest it in industries that's specified by the Chinese government. But, but don't you think that other countries are going to start to kind of react to the U.S. tax law, try to keep American money overseas if they can? Uh, absolutely. There's no question about that. We, we, we are not a sole actor in this system because of all the global corporations. And the companies are all taking a look at what they want to do right now, and, and governments around the world are going to look as well. Let me ask you about the IRS, since you were the commissioner. I mean, there's a lot of concern that the IRS, I mean, look, they've had a shrinking budget. Uh, next year, the agency is getting $11 billion in funding. Um, but you say the IRS, they don't have enough resources and that they're not going to be able to help taxpayers in this overhaul. They just don't have the staff, basically. Is that so? Well, a couple points I'd make here. First, the good news is that unlike the usual practice where their extenders put in at the last minute, this law takes effect next year, so the IRS has time to adjust, and, and the upcoming filing season shouldn't be affected. So everybody should calm down, relax, file your taxes as you normally would come uh, January, February, March. That's one point. But the IRS has a lot to do. They're, the standards, particularly on the international, take effect immediately, and uh, you're going to have to have a lot of regulations drawn. You need the call centers. Just because people aren't affected till next year, they're, they're going to start calling, asking the IRS questions. So they have to staff up for they're that. They're calling so, this week, Mark. I mean, this, right, they're lining right. up at, at, at county offices. The county officials can't even handle the crowds they're getting. It's, it's been Ex incredible. Exactly. So, so, they, so yes, of course, the, the IRS needs some additional resources here. That's on top of their day job. They've got challenges with the identity theft, the international area, and the Affordable Care Act. Just because the mandate's been re relieved, there's still a lot of exchange of information takes place. So, yeah, they have a, they have a lot to do, and a lot yeah. to do. Mark, you need to come back so we can talk about what, how states are going to handle this, and if maybe this changes finally the dynamic at the state level about how taxation is handled in the, in the blue states anyway. Mark Everson, thank you for your perspective. Thank you. I bet you don't miss the IRS right now. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> <laughs> she laughed. Mark, thank you very much. He's like,